Hi, I'm Jason Crow, husband, dad, former paratrooper and army ranger, and the congressman from Colorado's 6th district. In America, nothing is more sacred than the right to vote. And with the first Tuesday in November just days away, Americans are voting in record numbers. More than 75 million have already voted early. And if you haven't yet, now is your chance to make your voice heard by dropping off your ballot or voting in person on election day. This is our democracy at work, and we can never take it for granted. Our men and women in uniform fought and died defending it. Generations of heroes from suffragists and civil rights icons like John Lewis to ordinary Americans whose names we'll never know risked everything to make our country's promise real for everybody. That fight for our fundamental rights isn't over. Even today, there are plenty of politicians trying to make voting harder instead of easier. But it's not going to work. Because thanks to the heroes who came before us, we all have a say in our future. All we have to do is vote. In this election, you'll choose the kind of country you want for yourself and your family. Do you want leaders who unite us or who divide us? This is America. You get to decide. And don't let anyone try to tell you otherwise. 2020 is not a typical year, and it's not going to be a typical election night either. Because of the pandemic, we may not know every result right away. It might take some time and a little extra patience. We may see some people complaining and even tweeting about that, especially if they think they're going to lose. But no amount of disinformation spread by a few blustery individuals is going to drown out the voices and the votes of the American people. There is a simple truth here. For all the ways this year is different, our basic voting process is the same as it's always been. So straightforward, any child in America can tell you how it works. We vote. We count all the votes. And we figure out who got the most. Politicians can say what they want, but they don't get to change that. They don't get to take away your voice. In this election, just like we have for hundreds of years, we will reaffirm the revolutionary idea at the heart of our founding. Power doesn't belong to elected officials. It belongs to the people. And those of us who hold elected office don't work for ourselves or our political party. We work for you. When I led a platoon in Iraq, the paratroopers I served with came from every part of this country. Different races, religions, economic backgrounds, politics. But when we came under fire, none of that stuff mattered. We took on the threat together as Americans. And our diverse backgrounds made us stronger, not weaker. When we are united, there is nothing we can't do. Ultimately, more than any one issue, that's what this election is about. We can tackle our collective challenges and make our country better than ever, but it will require working together. Our democracy is not inevitable. It doesn't sustain itself. We have to protect it. And the single most effective way to protect our democracy is by participating in it. So make a plan to vote. Remind your friends to vote. Take nothing for granted. Too many people have sacrificed too much to bring us to this moment. So let's get to work.